So let's bring in White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders to get her reaction. Sarah, what'd you make of this? Uh, look, I thought it was an embarrassment for the Democrat Party, but uh, frankly, not surprising at all. Unfortunately, we know they've been trying to use these ridiculous delay tactics. Uh, they've been opposing uh, Kavanaugh before he was even nominated. They were speaking out, saying they wouldn't support President Trump's pick for the Supreme Court. Uh, and what we saw yesterday mm -hmm. was really an embarrassment uh, by the Democrats. But frankly, I also think it's great news for Republicans, because if this is what we're up against in 2018, and particularly the auditions that we saw for the 2020 presidential race that took place yesterday, I think we're in great shape and we're going to look really good in both 2018 and 2020. Well, Sarah, you work in a White House. Um, there are a bunch of documents that the Democrats say they need in addition to the half a million they've already got. Uh, they're from the Bush White House when he was a, a staff secretary and he shuffled the papers across the president's desk. Uh, yesterday, it was very clear by Mr. Grassley that it, those are privileged and those should not be seen. Can you make that argument? Can you explain that for us, <laughs> why those should remain privileged or executive privilege or whatever it is? Look, I, the, the big point here is that, once again, Democrats opposed Kavanaugh before they even knew who he was. This isn't about documents. It's about ridiculous political ploys that the Democrats are trying to play. Kavanaugh and his team uh, and our team here at the White House have turned over hundreds of thousands of pages of documents. There's also tons of public opinion and record that have been out on Kavanaugh. If Democrats can't figure out whether they're a yes or no based off of all of that, frankly, they shouldn't be in the Senate. I don't think that it's that hard to ask the questions that they have of Kavanaugh. Stop grandstanding. Start asking questions that you have to this individual and, and see if you think he's qualified and right. then make a decision. It is absolutely ridiculous, the games that they're playing. And let's let the process play out. Let Kavanaugh answer these questions. If you're concerned that you don't think he's good enough, then put those questions to the test and put him... Uh, put that on full display, mm -hmm. which we hope we'll see today. And I guarantee you uh, that Kavanaugh is going to deliver on every single one of those things because he's unquestionably qualified. Uh, we've seen people from the left and the right that are uh, the greatest judicial minds come out in support of uh, Kavanaugh, and we fully expect the Senate to move through, quit playing games, and confirm him. So Bob Woodward's book is uh, coming out Tuesday. Excerpts are out, including a tape, 12-minute tape of the president talking to Bob Woodward, regretting he didn't sit down and talk to him. Listening, looking at the excerpt that we've already seen and hearing that conversation, did the communication staff make a mistake not making sure the president sat down with Bob Woodward to at least get his point of view on this, give him a chance to refute some of these horrific things and descriptions from they say came from his staff? Look, there's no doubt the president is his own best advocate. He has an incredible story to tell, and that's why uh, he does that every single day. That's why he does gives speeches, roundtables, and talks about not only the successes that we've had, but the other things that we're going to do over the next six years that he's in office. Um, once again, this is a president who's been incredibly accessible. But just sitting down with Bob Woodward, Sarah, do you think it was a mistake not going out of your way to sit down with him, judging by what he put out there and the president doesn't get his side of the story out? Uh, certainly, again, the president's his own best storyteller and the own, his own best advocate for his policies. But I think more important than that that we've seen are the things that have come out after this book from General Mattis, General Kelly, pushing back on these fictitious claims that this book seems to be filled with that we've seen so far. Sarah, this is the president's recent tweet, most recent tweet this morning. Just out. Yeah. Isn't it a shame that someone can write an article or book, totally make up stories, and form a picture of a person that is literally the exact opposite of the fact, and get away with it without retribution or cost? Don't know why Washington politicians don't change libel laws. What's your reaction to that? Because um, he's, he's disputing what Bob Woodward is claiming that some people that work in the administration are saying about the president. One saying he's an idiot, and the president saying that's all false, and people in the administration said they never told Bob Woodward that. Look, I think once again, it's clear that you have the accounts from people firsthand that have spent there, and they're on the record, which is very different than what this book is filled with. It's full of anonymous 
quotes uh, from disgruntled former employees versus people who have been in the administration from day one. Uh, myself, I've been working for the president for three years, and I can tell you what I've seen so far out of this book is nothing of what is going on in the building behind me. If the things that were said in this book were true, there's no way that this president could be as successful as he's been. It's hard to argue with the fact that uh, this president has had the most successful two first years of any president in modern history with tax cuts. Uh, ISIS is on the run, remaking of the judiciary, historic deregulation. I mean, just the list goes on and on, remaking uh, the court system completely mm -hmm. and uh, rebuilding our military. There's just the list I, we put out yesterday uh, was a small fraction of some of the success that we've had. And it's a full three pages long. And I, we're going to continue doing that day after day. And the president's going to keep fulfilling the promise that he made to the American people during the campaign and keep ticking off things on his agenda. Actually, you sound like uh, the Wall Street Journal, one of their lead editorials this morning written by uh, James Freeman uh, talks about how if it's such a chaotic White House. Why is this president getting so much done? Uh, in the meantime, Sarah, uh, Fox News has learned that the special counselor, um, Robert Mueller, will apparently accept some written answers to some questions about collusion. Can you explain uh, what you know about that? And is there a possibility he will still sit down? Is, is Mueller still pushing for an interview regarding the obstruction of justice suggestion? I can't get into the, the details of the negotiations between the president's attorneys and the special counsel. What I can tell you is the president and his team and his staff have been fully cooperative and have been transparent throughout the process, which is why we contend and continue to say uh, and will continue all the way through and wait until this wraps up, which we hope is soon, that there was absolutely no collusion and no wrongdoing by the president. Okay. All right. Uh, was it a relief to, to get that news? I, I'm sorry. Was it a relief to get the news that some of these questions are going to be in writing? Because that's what oh. you've been looking for, right? Yeah, once again, I can't get into the negotiations that the president and mm -hmm. his team are having, but I think the greatest relief for us is knowing that there was no collusion and we've right. done nothing wrong and we have nothing to hide. Hey, Sarah, uh, going back to the Bob Woodward thing for just a second, uh, we're going to do the news here in just a, a, a bit. But at the end of his tweet, the president said something about they should maybe they should change the libel laws. Is that suggesting that the president would think about some sort of libel suit against uh, what Bob Woodward has written? Uh, look, I haven't had the conversation with the president on any actions he may take, uh, but certainly the president wants the American people to know what's actually happening in this building, and I think they do because they see it every single day in their actual lives. They see the impact that the president's policies are having. I do think one thing Bob Woodward got right was that he named the book Fear, but I think the part he missed was that the fear is coming from Democrats. They're terrified of the fact that this president is so successful and that he's been able to deliver on mm -hmm. everything he said out to do and that his policies are actually working and impacting Americans for the better. Carl Bernstein says General Kelly should resign. Uh, well, I, I think that uh, we're not going to take advice from him. I think General <laughs> Kelly is doing a great job. And again, he has uh, done a phenomenal job, not just here, but in service to our country over the last four decades. Uh, right. And I have a great deal of respect for him Sarah, and the work that he does here every I day. I know you have a lot of kids and they're starting school this week. So thanks for waking <laughs> up early to be with us. We appreciate it. And I know America does. Thank Absolutely. You. And, and school drop-off day went excellent yesterday. Oh, good. <laughs> good. All right. Thank you very much, Sarah.